How's it going everyone? So I'm recording another video today talking about why conversion rates don't matter and which metrics actually matter. So I'm just going to go into detail about that and this is specifically for people doing e-commerce and like selling courses online or programs or even doing like affiliate marketing or even CPA marketing. So I'm just going to cover some things that I've learned in the past like five, six months now, like spending a lot of money in ads and, and tracking all the numbers as well. So that's why I'm able to tell you why some metrics matter, some some don't. Because I've also had some people who've seen my um, like crazy results, like client results making like 100 grand a month. And they were like, oh, but you, because some, some conversion rates were like really low on those. And people would say, hey, why is your conversion rate so low? Um, like, shouldn't you have a higher conversion rate? Like, I mean, you make, but the thing is, it, the screenshot was literally like, some of them were more than 150 grand a month and people, the people are talking about conversion rate, which is crazy because that shouldn't even be the question you should ask. Like the conversion rate there was like 0.35%. And there's a reason for that I'm, I'm gonna cover, but and I'm also gonna cover which metrics are important and which in which order, because there's actually an order of, there's like a sequence you could say, uh, of what you should look at when you're trying to d you know determine you know what what metrics are important so when it comes to ads the first metric you obviously want to look at when it comes to your business obviously how much how much profit you made or you know how much loss you made in some cases um so that's the first thing you want to look at you don't want to look at your website conversion rate or click through rate or like cost per click or anything like that now that doesn't mean you shouldn't have benchmarks because benchmarks are important um so i actually have benchmarks as well so for my agency when i start running ads my benchmark for like cost per click could be like um you know like between up to up to two two dollars per click for example that would be my benchmark um your your benchmark might be different like for for a client now that i'm looking at their benchmark is i'm happy to pay up to, to like any amount per click really but like but you know the benchmark here is like when when things are going really well we're pl we're paying about we're actually paying more per click, about one about one dollars and thirty cents per click, um, for this for this e-commerce brand, but um, but yeah, so so let's so let's get to it. So like I said, you don't want to look look at those metrics. So the first metric you always want to look at is profit. So how much actual, um, and when when I say profit, I'm talking about net profit that that you've actually made. So if you're making net profit, like the example I gave you for that client, hundred fifty grand, if he's making net profit, like what like. 50% for example then who cares about the conversion rate because he's 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 making the money right he's ma he's making the profit the conversion rate doesn't doesn't matter so if so that's the first thing you want to look at is how much profit you're making now if you if the profit is not where you want it to be at that's when you start moving down this like down the sequence right so that so each time um a figure or or like is not where you want it to be at you start going down and down and down and it starts at net profit um, so it starts at net profit and it ends at, um, at CPM. So I would say about CPM, that's kind of, that's kind of the spectrum. So about profit to CPM, CPM is cost per mile, which is like cost per 1000 impressions. So for 1000 people that see your ad, how much you paid for it. Um, so that can, that really depends on, on obviously your ad and everything, but, um, so yeah, so. So yeah, so profit, that's the first one. If that's not where you want where if that's not where you want it to be at, then the second thing you look at is PL. So PL is profit and loss. So although it's profit and loss for some businesses, it's not. Because so for example, if you're selling courses online, then of course everything is profit. So your PL, which is your profit and loss, would would be would be actual profit, which which would basically mean it would be um it wouldn't be net profit, but it would be profit. But if you're doing e-commerce, you still have to take into account other stuff. So the way that I do p and here is um, is sales minus the ad spend. So I would so the sales are one thousand dollars and the ad spend was five hundred. I would minus five hundred off the thousand, and then the p and would be five hundred. So for e-commerce, um, this does not obviously include um, product cost. So you would still have to minus the cost of the product itself you know the physical product whereas if you're selling a course you don't have to do that because um since you're selling a course it's all profit 
or if you're selling some kind of online thing or whatever, um, a digital product, it's all profit. So that would be your, your profit. How that, that does not mean that that does not make it make it your net profit. It makes it profit, but you you're still gonna have expenses, right? So you might still be paying for I don't know Kajabi and like contractors and all this other stuff or whatever you're paying for. So you still have to minus that to find your net profit. But that's the second um, that's the second one. And after that, you, know, you look at ROI. So ROI is obviously you know your ROI. So like how much return you made on on ad spend and and you know ideally obviously you want to have at least like a 2x ROI otherwise um, that's usually what you want to be looking at so you're putting in a dollar and you're getting two, two dollars back out however for some for some e-commerce this might not even be um, that profitable um, because you know taking into account product cost and everything 2x ROI could be a break even um, so for, for some of you it might, it might have to be 3x so for some of my clients it's actually it's not 2x for e-commerce it's about 3x or more however for info product and digital i guess it could be 2x so obviously start a profit your net profit then then you look at profit and loss and then you look at roi and then you look at your sales okay so then you want to look at your sales so if you look if you notice your sales are like i don't know too low then you realize okay we actually need to make more sales right because so so that's the next thing you look at and then after sales, that's when you look at conversion rate. Okay, so it's, you can see how far down the spectrum um, conversion rate. So you got all these other ones, and then it's conversion rate. Um, because all those other things are more important than conversion rate. Because if you're making net profit, it's like, who cares about conversion rate, right? I mean, you you, make, you get, like, no one's asking how much net profit, um, I mean, what, what the conversion rate is of, I don't know, like, like Adidas, like, who cares? Like, they're making hundreds of millions of dollars like no one no one cares about the conversion rate i mean they're making profit that's the, that's the most important thing so you want to so that's when you when you look at your conversion rate. that's when you want to have you know that's when you want to be like okay you know it's my, my maybe my conversion rate is like 0.01 percent or 0.5 or whatever it is and then they start to rise okay it's actually too low and we need to increase it so let's look at the next step the next step is you know your cost per purchase so how much are you actually paying per customer then you might realize oh i'm actually paying too much per customer so you need to find a way to reduce that and then, then you want to look at but how many customers did i actually get so if you only got one then maybe you're not paying too much maybe, maybe the, you know there's some other issue going on so you want to keep going down to from um from purchase um and then you want to look at how many how many checkouts you're getting you know like so how much are you paying per checkout what's your checkout conversion rate so you want to keep keep going down and after checkout conversion rate that's when you look at um add to carts your add to cart rate your cost per add to cart so the, my ideal benchmark cost per add to cart here for one of my clients now is about ten dollars um so when when we pay about ten dollars per add to cart we're making like a lot of money like it's that's when it's going really well so that's um so you want to find out what that is for you so what's your so you want to find out your benchmarks kind of kind of what what range do you have to be in for you to be like nicely profitable so after you've looked at your add to cart you might realize okay we're not getting enough add to carts and the reason might be um we're not we're not getting enough clicks and the reason might, for that being might might be because you know our cost per click is too high and our CTR is too low, and then you realize, oh, our, our CTR is too low, and why is that? And that's when you look at your ads, and that's when you realize, okay, I'm reaching. The, you could be reaching the wrong people. Your ad copy doesn't resonate with people. So if, if you have a low CTR, a uh, low click through rate, it's usually because um, people don't resonate with the ad. So when, when they're scrolling on the phone, seeing ad, they don't really connect with it at all. This could be because you're reaching the wrong audience. Or maybe you're reaching the right audience, um, but maybe your copy just sucks and it just doesn't resonate with them. Even with the people that actually need your product, it, they don't really connect with it enough. So it's probably an issue with your ad, with your ad copy, with your ad image, and that's that's how you keep keep going down down the spectrum, all the way from net profit to click through it. So you don't look at click through it. So like someone making under fifty thousand per month, who cares about the click through it, uh, click through rate because. Um, you know, maybe there is no issue with click-through at all. Maybe the click-through is fine, you know, because, because like I said, 
it's the it's like the Pol polaris star um some people call it that like your no star or like you know your, your main goal which is the profit like if that's there then the click through rate but like, but like i said click through rate usually because your ad copy is not that great um it doesn't resonate it's probably your audience as well or maybe maybe it's the way you've structured your campaign so maybe you're not you're not testing enough audiences which means um you're not you're not reaching you're not allowing facebook to reach the people that you should be reaching but um but yeah so those are a couple of things um and by the way these are just some of the things that i uh this is just from one of my one slide from my one of my scaling tools so these are scaling tools that i use to scale my campaigns up like to like past six figures a month and um i actually have a lot more of these tools so there's about there's five of them yeah there's five five of these tools that basically that i set as a foundation for e-commerce and basically when you have that in place you can really scale very high up without really um so basically once you start making more um it allows you to scale up really fast and be really be like a lot more agile and it allows you to really identify where you can put your money in and allows you to predict um, future trends which is extremely important because let's say you have a ten thousand dollar ad budget it's like you know you want to know what's going to happen like you want to be able to kind of predict like if i put ten thousand dollars in is this really going to work is it not going to work and that's why you need these scaling tools otherwise you're basically um you're pretty much gambling with your money if you don't really have those so that's so that's what i use them for all of my clients and the truth is i'm actually going to start sharing them with everyone um this week on friday so so here's how it works so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be launching uh, something called a coaching package and it's going to include my three scale my five scaling tools and it's going to include a a video a video training as well that that's going to show you exactly how to use these tools in detail and it's also going to go over my ad formula but on top of that the main thing that i'm going to be putting in is a 45 minute um like coaching session directly with me and in that call we're going to cover three main things so one the main thing we're going to cover is my scaling formula so on the call itself me and you're going to be talking and i'm going to customize it specifically for your business my scaling formula and then secondly we're going to cover um, audience and interest secrets so i'm going to show you exactly how to really uncover those interests and audiences within facebook that that you should be using because facebook is not going to give them to you facebook doesn't care facebook wants you to target the biggest audiences and in fact this is connected directly with my tools and that's why i'm including them because um you know you you need the tools to find those audiences and when you have those audiences you can you're going to pay less and you're going to get a much higher roi on everything you do and third the third thing we're going to cover is um ad account um basically ad account strategies and also how to get superior access on facebook so you might be wondering how do i even know how to get these you know this interest and you know that's just one little thing like there's so many other things that allow you to have that superior access in the Facebook algorithm, the Facebook ads manager, and even just the whole Facebook community itself within the advertisers, of course, and allows you to, and, and, and the ad account strategies allow you to really just, just become more powerful within the whole thing in such that, you know, you don't get shut down. Um, you're able to scale without running into crazy issues. Like people get shut down all the time. People get blocked, the ad account disabled. People um you know the impression start dropping the ad account starts and doesn't start performing as well when they start scaling all those all those kind of issues and there's also algorithm preferences so the algorithm within facebook itself it really has to prefer you um, and you have to build up that trust over time so that's why i'm going to try to get that superior access as well uh, which most people don't even teach this, this is on this is what the highest level people advertisers on facebook do but anyway if you want to get access to that make sure you join the group i'm gonna put the link below so make sure you join that group uh you put in your email um i'm, I'm gonna send you a case study as well so that that's that's all for free and on friday i'm gonna be launching that coaching package um which i'm sure you're gonna love so the scaling tools the video um and then the, the coaching session with me trust me this is crazy I've, I've been doing it privately with people and they've seen amazing results so now i've decided i'm gonna do it publicly as well so so yeah so thanks for watching I'm going to put the link below and um, speak soon.